Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do these really easy rose nails and first you will need a white polish and paint this all over your nails and I use the Essie Blanc and this is a really nice polish and I recommend this if you're looking for a really nice white polish and then I'll be using the red polish from Sally Hansen in the colour Right Says Red and I'll be using this as the rose base so basically what you'll need to do is use a large dotting tool and paint circles all around make like small little ripples so they're not perfect circles and you can make them as big or as small as you like and then you will have to line up your nails so they connect and then the roses connect on to the second nail so then they carry on and then you just do the same on each nail and as I said you can make the roses as big or as small as you like so then I'll be going in with Dangerous Affair by Ciate and this is a dark red and it's gorgeous it's very very rich and I'll then be using a small paintbrush and creating small lines to create the rose shape and then I'll be doing this on each nail. You could do this as many times as you like, you can do as many lines as you want, it depends how you want your roses to look. I had quite a messy look which is what I was going for, I wasn't really going for a neat look. So then using a white striper you will then go in the same as you did with the dark red, just create small little lines creating more depth on the roses and then just repeat this on all of your nails. Then what I did was I went in with a mid kind of greeny colour, it's like a slime green in Key Lime by Barry M and then I used this for the leaves and I used my small paintbrush again and I created three lines connecting to each other to create each of the leaves and you would do this by connecting them to the roses to make them all connect together so it creates a sort of rose vine and then I will then be using the dark green by Maybelline New York uh, in the colour Green Miracle to create more depth onto the leaves. And then doing the same, just painting on top of the lighter green. I then use a top coat to seal in my design. Well, thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.